Hey everybody, so it's popsicle time again. Start of the summer and my kids have been asking for some new popsicles. So I wanna share with you one of my favorites, chocolate covered strawberry popsicles. They're really super easy to make, not a lot of ingredients and uh, also a little bit on the healthy side. So I'm gonna show you everything that you need for it and we're gonna get started. First thing we're going to do is cut up some strawberries. You are going to need two and a half cups of just some fresh strawberries. And I'm gonna put those right into my saucepan. And then we're going to add one third cup of water. And then we're going to add one fourth cup of sugar. And we'll put that right in with the strawberries. And then we're going to add the juice from one whole lemon. And just squeeze it right in with the strawberries. Now we're going to put the strawberries on the stove. And we're not going to boil them or anything. We're just going to heat them up a bit so they're nice and soft and easy to puree. So we'll just stir them around for about five minutes on high heat until they get just a little bit softer. Now we're just going to take a hand blender and puree the strawberries. You can also use a blender, whatever is easier for you. Then I'm just going to take my strawberry mixture and put it in a pouring container. And we'll fill each one of these up. Now we're just going to pop the tops back onto the popsicle molds. And now you're going to put your popsicles in the freezer for about three hours and while they're freezing we're going to make our magic shell, the chocolate sauce that we're going to dip them into. You can buy magic shell in the store. This is a homemade version of it and it's really easy to make. All you need is one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and we're going to put that right into the saucepan. And this is the secret ingredient that'll make the chocolate go hard when we dip the popsicles into it. It is an unrefined coconut cooking oil. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of the coconut oil into the chocolate chips. And then we're just gonna melt that on the stove. And we're just gonna stir it until it all melts. And now that I've taken that off the stove, I'm going to put the chocolate into a tall cup, just some sort of tall container that is wide enough for the popsicles, but nice and tall. And we're just going to let that cool. It'll stay liquid until the frozen popsicles are dipped in it. Show you that, guys, as soon as they're frozen. So now the popsicles are totally frozen. They've been in the freezer for about three hours, and I just always run them under a bit of warm water so they come out of the molds nicely. And now we're ready to dip. And what I like to do when I dip these is just leave a little bit of the strawberry at the bottom. It's just a visual thing. Um, makes them look really nice. I don't like them. I love them. <laughs> 